Hey there you guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be planting, it's been a while since we've done an orchid video, as you all know, uh, this uh, Millennium Magic Witchcraft. This is in the Catacetum family, and uh, I have not had the best luck with this in the last while. Uh, so, I guess a little bit of backstory. Many of you are asking me to do more and more uh, orchid videos, saying that you miss them and all that jazz. And uh, I kind of miss making them, but I've been so overwhelmed with with uh, pest problems. Uh, for example, like mostly mealybugs, and it's just been so frustrating because orchids, as you know, bloom once, maybe twice a year if you're lucky, and um, then the plant just looks not very nice for the rest of the year. Um, so anyway, with mealybugs, uh, they end up when the flower comes into spike the mealybugs just seem to just I don't even know where they come from because the plant looks like there's nothing on it and then and then uh, you're getting all excited for these buds to open and then and then uh, they start to get full and then then the second they open uh, they're just loaded with mealybugs I don't know where the mealybugs come from and then the flowers drop within a day maybe maybe if you're lucky they last a week uh, and and uh, that's just the first couple of blooms and then you notice that the rest start to blast so it's just so frustrating and that's part of the reason why I have not been doing many orchid videos because it's just been so maddening and uh, much of my collection just looks like crap um, I also have a problem right now I had spider mites on a lot of things so I've been trying to get rid of spider mites, and as you know, spider mites does does like a flecking on the leaves, or it gives like a, a silvery kind of appearance, just an overall icky look. So anyway, um, many of my orchids have have icky looking leaves. I'll show you them in another video. I will show them, um, but I don't know what's happening. It might have been because the air was too dry, uh, not enough water. But I'm not sure, but just I've been I've been very frustrated and and my my interest has been dying down with them just because it if they grew out of things a little bit faster that would be one thing but it takes them forever to to really start to to show signs of lush growth again and you're waiting one whole year for for maybe one new growth if you're lucky you get two growths but that's a lot of care and and uh, it's just so frustrating anyway uh, this is one of those ones that, that had a spider mite issue, and then um, what happened? Uh, I would get it would start to grow, and then I get the, the foliage would tur turn silvery. At first, I thought it was too little water. Then I thought it was uh, spider mites, and uh, I thought putting it outside would would help, um, but it didn't really seem to help. I noticed that that the leaves would start to grow, and then they get to be about I don't know, say. Uh, eight to ten inches long and then they they would start to yellow and get all icky looking and I'm like what what am I doing wrong I'm not doing anything differently so I, I opted to just um, rip all of them out of out of the soil I cut off all of the roots because it was dormant there was no leaves uh, so I cut off all of the roots they're just sitting here waiting for them to regrow some some little nubbins and uh, this one has started to grow another little baby so this one might be the last one I get so I'm gonna try to baby it I'm gonna try to make it make it work because uh, as you know this this guy is a black orchid and it looks so beautiful and it has a really nice fragrance a nice spicy fragrance so um, with these guys you wanna actually wait before planting them until the roots are uh, maybe two or three inches long these roots are about an inch long, but I'm going to pop it into some soil. I feel like the air is a little bit too dry, and um, I just I want to make sure that they have some moisture. Um, so yeah, hopefully if I keep it moist, I'm going to try that this year. I also got rid of all of the, the, um, the media and stuff uh, so that I could make sure that there's no bugs at the root level. So I just hacked and chopped, and then I sprayed it with uh, some peroxide and... And then I sprayed it with my uh, my my homemade insect uh, spray, and it looks to be okay. I don't see any webbing or anything on there. I don't see any um, I don't see any uh, scale or anything. So let's give it a try. I what do I what do I have to lose? I got nothing to lose. So anyway, this has been a long video already. So anyway, I'm going to use some sphagnum moss because when they start to grow, 
uh, they really like a lot of moisture. So at this stage, they don't really want a lot of moisture. Uh, you want to try to keep them away from that. Um, but then as they really start to develop, like I said, when the roots are about like two to three inches long, that's when you can start watering them again. And then when they go outside and they're actively growing, they grow really fast. So they, they are heavy feeders and they're heavy drinkers. So uh, you want to make sure that they're, they're looked after the way that they want to be looked after. So I'm going to plant it, this, this single plant into a, uh, I believe this is a six inch orchid pot. And uh, I'm going to use this sphagnum moss that I pre-moistened. I'm also going to use some fine orchid bark. As you can see, uh, I, I thought I had more orchid bark the, the regular size, but I don't. So I'm going to use the fine, because you use what you got. Uh, so anyway, I'm just going to, I guess, let's put some orchid bark in the base, just to have a little bit of a drainage for the, the plant. Now I'm going to do a layer of nice moss there. I've been doing a lot of layering. I don't know. I like I like the idea of the layers. <laughs> it might be all wrong, but I don't care. And then what I'm going to do, just going to wrap some uh, some moss just ever so lightly around the growing area here, and then I'm going to place it in the pot, just wringing out some of this this. Uh, moss. I don't want it to be too deep. I want it, I should have showed you, right where the roots are, are coming out, that's where I want it to, uh, the, the moss level to be. I don't want it to be any higher than that. So I actually planted this really, really shallow in the pot. Maybe I'll, I'll redo this. Let's, let's look at this again. <laughs> let's put some more moss in here. I want as much root space as I can. Because these guys have a really extensive root system when they start to grow. A little bit more stuff in there. Now I'm going to wrap these little white roots. There should be green tips on it. There's no green tips. That's what te that's what's telling me. I think it's a little dry. I have sprayed it with some water uh, occasionally. But uh, they don't seem to stay looking with a green tip. So... That's what I'm hoping planting this will, will do. I hope that it will encourage little roots to, to grow. The poor thing is so stressed, and I don't, I don't know why. It used to grow so beautifully, like I said, and I, I have not changed anything. Okay, so since there's no roots in there, we'll need to support this somehow. Just put some, uh, some bark on here. I have to go and get some more orchid bark, for goodness sake. I don't know how I... how I don't have any left. It's so weird. And I haven't been repotting a lot of orchids recently, so... I'm just going to throw some moss on top so I know when it's going to be dry. I like to have a little bit of a tell on top of my, my pot. I, uh, I tap the top of the, uh, the moss and see if it's crunchy. And I look at the pot as well. Uh, but usually if the top is really crusty, I know that I need to water. So anyway, this is the, the Millennium Magic Witchcraft repotted. I'll keep you posted. Hopefully this guy will, uh, will grow okay. I'm getting, uh, really, I'm, I'm getting very discouraged with my orchids, but uh, some of them are doing okay. I'll show you those a little late, bit later on. But I just wanted to pot this guy up, and I thought you guys might like to see. So anyway, uh, show me how your orchids are growing. Maybe your Millennium Magic Witchcraft is uh, is starting to bloom now, because usually it's around this time that they start putting out their spikes. <laughs> Mine's just starting to grow. It's so sad. So hopefully yours are doing much better than mine. And uh, just hang tight, and there will be more orchid videos uh, in the future. I do still have orchids. I still enjoy them very much, but uh, I'm just really, really trying to work on, on having the collection look nice again. Um, I'm not buying all kinds like uh, like I was. I don't want to keep introducing new ones in until until I start to figure out what's going on with the ones that I have. Uh, they're expensive. I don't want to just start throwing everything away and then buy new ones and then show you new beautiful ones and say, oh, I just I've been growing this for whatever, but 
I'm not actually growing it. I bought it that way. I want to actually get them to rebloom and do their thing. So anyway, I hope you can respect that. <laughs> anyway, I've been rambling. I apologize. Uh, uh, post some photos of your plants to the Plants and Things What's Growing page. I'd love to see what's happening. And uh, until next time, happy growing, everyone.